My typical day is, is very much a sort of a nine to six in the studio. I love being in my studio. I'm very lucky. Um, I share with my wife, uh, so we have three studios. I think we have around nine assistants in the studio now. So it's a really lovely hub of, of, of creatives, and everyone's an artist, and and we bounce ideas around. And you know, it's it's it's, it's I, I really like to try to create a sort of family atmosphere in, that, in the studio. The kids come in sometimes at four and three, and and um, you know, day to day making work, making work for exhibitions, making work for you know art fairs and galleries. I work with six galleries around the world now. Uh, nine between my wife and I. She's also an artist, and so you know we. Day to day communications with these uh, these calories is a lot, you know, and and it's uh it's it's a, it's a real privilege to be uh, an art an artist today. I have a funny relationship with public art, actually. Um, sometimes I think that it's uh, done because uh, a big company uh, needs something outside of their building, and for me that the necessary not necessarily excites me I, I don't think you know so it's like almost like a forced thing you know it's like oh we need an artist let's find one you know and it, of course it's you know it's a gap in a it's a gap in a market I guess for people to create work for it but I mean sometimes the marriage of that isn't right sometimes they're not, they're not you know, there's not a necessity to have a piece of public art there just to because you have to it should be because you want to you know? I like artists that embrace landscape you know, Richard Serra, I think that, you know, his sculptures really take on a, a, a massive, you know, incredible vision uh, and somehow are always sympathetic to where they are. You know, I've always loved Calder's work. I think whenever you see a Calder outside of a building in a public space, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. And David, Dave Smith as well, like the early, he's a, I think he was a, an architect in the 60s. And, you know, when you see some of those, they look just fantastic. I think that the main advice today that I would give to an artist is to stop looking at the computer and go to more exhibitions and feel art. Don't just look it on. You know, I, I, I think I did a lecture at a college recently and the tutors were telling me that the students come in and they say they've seen an exhibition but actually they've just witnessed the shots on website you know how can you how can you do that with art you have to see it in the flesh you have to see the paint you have to you know you have to see the the weight of the sculpture the the, the, the way that the artist has made it and touched it rather than just looking on a screen and searching and I mean, we're all guilty of it I'm not saying that I go to a thousand shows a year or you no know, I do love going to exhibitions but just see more things in the flesh and, and, and not on a screen <laughs>